Hi everybody, welcome to Armour Reforger on my PC and this is on my Nitrado custom server and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change well the maps and modes on your server um, and uh, also the reason why you probably want to do that is so that you can have things like this this is a modded M16 that's got a scope on it which is pretty cool also if I bring the map up you can see we're using the where am I mod to um, to show me where I am on the maps, which is pretty cool. And that's kind of the reason why you would want to run a private community server. Um, this is a Nitrido one because it allows you to add mods to the game. Um, I've already done a video about that though. Um, I'll link to that in the description below the video. This video is really about changing um, the, the maps themselves. or It's not really changing the map themselves because obviously this is still ever on. Um, but maybe by the time you come to watch um, this video in the future we may well have some other maps it's really you're really changing the scenarios so what do i mean and where do we go so first things first you want to head on over to your um, server and you want to go into the web dashboard and then you can either you can either go sort of directly into the file browser and then go into the config and load that up if you want or probably the better way to do is when you go into the config download the file um, and then open it up in your favorite text editor um, and then keep the uh, the download one separate to the one you you're working on and the config file is it's a json file and this controls many things about our server um, and uh, the really important ones we're interested in is the mod section which is down here and the scenario ID section that is here. Now there's a couple of articles I'm going to link to in the description below this video. One is um, Bohemia Interactive's server hosting instructions and the next one is their server start parameters um, uh, instructions as well on their wiki. And these are really useful bits of uh, information here. So at the moment, your server, uh, your JSON will probably look something like this. You've probably got some details in the top about the name of the server and that sort of stuff. But what you won't have is you won't have anything in mods and your uh, name for your um, scenario will be that one there. The one that's missions 23 uh, there we go. It'll be that one. It will say it will say that. Um, so that means your server is just running the normal campaign, and and in fact, it probably says that on your general settings on your server as well. So at the moment, all we can really do in terms of changing things is we could have our server run the tutorial, if you wanted to. That might be quite good with some mods actually. You could get it to run Games Master. Um, or you could get it to run one of the scenarios for capture and hold, which is what I've done. And I've run the Briar's Coast capture and hold. So what you want to do is you'll want to find this, this um, section in the startup parameters page. Just scroll down. And you'll want to copy, uh, for example, for me it would be the Briar's Coast dot, uh, config. Copy that. And we then paste that right there. So, so you have scenario ID, um, two dots, uh, exclamation mark, and then we've got the name there. And we paste that in there. So that's telling the game that this is the scenario we're running. However, capture and hold is a mod as well. So we need to make sure that we've got the correct mod installed as well. So as i said what i'll do in the description below this video i'll put a link in how to my video about how to install mods but basically what you're going to do is you are going to go to scroll up a bit on this page which is the server hosting parameters and they've got an example uh, config file here and what you're going to do is you're going to take the mod section here so we're going to go all the way down to that square bracket there. And you're going to copy that. And you're going to paste that over the top 
of your existing one. So you're going to paste it and you're going to end up with this. Well, something like this. It's only going to have two entries. Um, and then what you're going to do is we're going to put in the capture and hold mod at the top. Now, if you've only got one mod installed, okay, it will look something like this. Okay, so you just have the mod and there'll be no comma after the last bit. If you've got a number of mods installed, there'll be a comma after each squiggly bracket, apart from the last one when there's no one. So then what we need is we need the capture and hold mod ID number. So in the name, you can just write capture and hold. That's just like a place marker. In the version, um, leave that empty. And what that means is the game will always use the latest version of the mod. So it saves you having to change that. But to get the mod ID, what you need to do is find on your PC where it stores the uh, the data for your games. Now it's normally uh, in something like um, uh, C users, your name, uh, documents, and then it'll be something out of cell. So for example, you can see in this folder here, we've got, this is where all my games sort of save their data, Armour 2, Armour 3, Daisy. This is, where, this is where they save it. I guess if you did a search for my games, it may well come up. But again, it tends to be, um, let's go into this one tends to be C user shadow documents my games armory forger and then we go into the add-ons and these are all the uh, add-ons that I've downloaded obviously you have to be subscribed to these in the armor workshop for them to download to your computer and then all you need to do is find the one that is capture and hold this can be a little bit tricky actually but if they've got a thumbnail you can click on the thumbnail there we go so there it is so I found it straight capture and hold sometimes they'll say it in the the title as well like of one of the files where it says there caption hold then all we need to do is just left click on that right click copy that so we've got all that number and then we type we just paste that in our mod id and you put you would paste that on top of there and then you would save that and that basically is how easy it is to do it so what we've got here is we've got a json that tells our server to start with the Briars Coast uh, scenario, load the capture and hold mod, in my case load the Colt um, optic mod for uh, the M16 and the where am I mod as well. And then what happens is when people go to join the server, um, it will they will automatically download the mods um, and that they can jump in and play. It's much easier than doing Daisy mods. I tell you, it's really, really, really good. Now, when you want to change it back to, for example, the um, the, the uh, conflict game mode, what you'll want to do is go to here, and then you want to copy that scenario there. We'd copy that. We would put, paste that over the top of there. Just make sure it's okay. And then we would get rid of the capture and hold mod because we wouldn't want that anymore because we don't want that loading up. There isn't a way, as far as I can tell, of putting remarks in a JSON file. Now, what's very important, though, is when you've saved that, make sure you go to a JSON formatting uh, validator, sorry, JSON validating, validating site, and uh, paste your JSON in there or browse it into, into there and then process it to make sure you haven't made any spelling mistakes. But when you've done that, save the file. Go back to your um, server, upload your new JSON on top of the old one, restart the server, and then before you know it, you'll be in playing, <laughs> you know, capture and hold on the map of your choice with the mods of your choice. Now, I, I did do, do just want to say one thing as well. Um, when you do do this sort of thing, uh, there is no um, save state for the servers for the people that are on them. So, for example, if people were playing um the uh, the conflict game mode and they'd built a load of structures and captured a load of bases and generally proceeded down the map 
if you do this or if you restart your server in any way at the moment anywhere anyway with, with armory forger what happens is that it resets the game the game will start again so you do have to bear that in mind if you're messing around um, changing things on your server playing around with mods and stuff like that the game will reset itself and you will end up um, obviously with, with a fresh start every time also i'm recording this video at the end of may 2022 while the game is still very early so there could well be some more um updates that happen that for example allow us to have map rotation in dot in uh, caption hold so at the moment you can only have one map and you've physically got to go in and change the settings in the server but hopefully pretty soon we're going to have map rotation so you play one game on briars then you go to the castle then you go to another one and go into another one so on and so forth but there we go that my friends is how you can change the scenario and the map on um armor reforger uh, in a pc nitrado community server hopefully you found that video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon